Hi everyone, I'm Imdi Nazma Hassan. In this HFSS tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can find out the electric field along a particular path. Sometimes we have radiating structure like antenna or antenna array, which radiates electromagnetic field. That means there is electric field around any antenna array. And if you're interested to find out the magnitude and the phase of this electric field around any antenna, then this video will help you to determine it in HFSS. HFSS has a calculator that allows you to enter the expressions for magnitude and the phase of the electric field along any particular predefined path. So let's dig in. Let's consider this antenna array. This is one by four antenna. And what you wanna do, you wanna sample the electric field along this line of interest AB. So this is your observation line along which you wanna find out the magnitude and the phase of the electric field. Now, imagine this straight line AB could be curve, right? Could be a curve like this one. And you want to sample the electric field's magnitude and the phase on each point along this curve AB, right? So this could be two different scenarios that I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial, how you can find out the magnitude and the phase of this E field along this line of interest AB, for the case of a straight line and also for the curvy line. What you can see on the screen is a 1x4 antenna array which was designed to achieve beam steering capability. You can see in the directivity plot, the main beam is located along 30 equal to 15 degree. So there's some kind of beam steering going on there. Anyway, now let's assume that we are interested to find out the magnitude and phase of the electric field along a particular path on top of this array. Now before creating that predefined line of observation along which we are going to sample the electric field, it is always convenient to draw an observation plane on top of this array to visualize the electric field. So what I'm going to do, I will create this plane on top of this array. And this is my observation plane. So I will name it observation plane. And then I will parameterize the Z coordinate so that I can later change it for um for meeting the design requirement um let me define a value of 80 millimeter for the time being i can change it later from the variable uh here all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to create the line of observation along which we are going to sample the electric field so this is this polyline one is my um, line of observation. So I will, I will rename it straight line. And I can parameterize the Z coordinate as well. Distance plane, so that the line and the plane, they are collinear. Okay, so now as you can see, the line and the observation plane, they both um, follow this uh, Z coordinate value that I'm giving here, all right? So this is very convenient. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to visualize the electric field's magnitude on this plane. So plot E and then complex mag E, which is the phasor E field, and that would plot the electric field's magnitude on this plane. Now, our line of observation is located in the middle, but I'm going to shift this line and place it on top of this maxima of E field uh, on the right hand side. So maybe it's located around 40 millimeter right. So let me check it, yeah. Okay, now the line is exactly on top of the maximum of the E field. Now go to HFSS and then fills and then calculator. And from here, um, if anything is written there already, you can clear it. And then from here, you can select quantity and then E. 
and then go to geometry select the line that we just created a straight line and then go to unit vector and select tangent and from complex you have to select complex real and take the dot product and take this complex mag and let's name it e mag straight line and again go to quantity and then e and then geometry and from line select a straight line and go to unit vector from here select tangent and from complex complex real take the dot product and from here again select complex phase and add this expression and let's name it e phase straight line so that it sample the electric field phase along this line once you are done press down button now let's plot the field on this line go to results and select fill plots 2d and from the geometry select straight line once you select a straight line you can see under calculate expressions you will see there are two new expressions you just created one is e mag straight line so press new report it would plot the e fields magnitude along the line a b we just defined so x axis is the distance along the line of observation that is straight line that we created and the y axis is the magnitude that the electric field of the unit is volts per meter although there is no unit written there but by default it's volts per meter and if you plot the phase of the e field and press new report then the y axis would denote the phase of the electric field in radian and the x-axis would be the distance along the line that you just defined all right you can also change the radian into degree by multiplying this with 180 degree by pi yeah now it converts the y-axis into degree so this is the e fields phase and this is the e fields magnitude plot along the line a b we just created this uh, straight line now recall that we uh, showed two scenarios in the first scenario there was this straight line and in the second scenario uh, we'll have a curved line along which we're going to plot the e fields magnitude and phase in the same manner so for that you can hide this e fields visualization for the time being and you can also hide this plane and the straight line as well now let's define a curve go to draw a spline and select it and I'm going to draw a curve randomly in a random manner now notice that some part of this curve is located outside this simulation domain now HFSs can only provide you the e fields magnitude and phase which is uh, within um, the simulation domain if anything goes beyond the simulation domain there will be nothing for uh, this part of the slide but you will have the e fields magnitude and phase uh, along this uh, this part which is located inside this simulation domain now um, let's name this polyline one as curve line curve line and from HFSs go to fills and then calculator select quantity E from geometry this time select the curve line because we're going to sample E fill along this curve line and now go to unit vector and press tangent and from complex you have to select complex real and take the dot product with complex magnitude of the e field let's add this expression and name it e mag curve line or just simple curve now for the phase let's repeat the same process as geometry line curve line 
and from unit vector select tangent and from complex complex real and take the dot product this time um, this complex phase let's add this expression and name it e phase curve now let's plot the e fields magnitude and phase from geometry this time we're going to select curve line because we're going to sample e field along curve line now you can see this e mag curve appears so press it and press name it report and for the phase another new report so as you can see the e field phase curve will uh, will give you some value up to to that point of the curve which is located inside the simulation domain and beyond that there is nothing else so you don't see any value beyond any part of the line that is located outside the simulation domain so um this was for the magnitude yes this is this was for the magnitude and this was for the face along the curve line in the same way you can convert this radian into degree by multiplying it 180 degree by pi and now the y-axis will give you the phase of the e field in terms of degree and the x-axis is the distance along the curve line so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial now you know that how to find out the e field on any along any direction or in along any path that you define in hfss so that's all for today if you benefit from this video press the like button and also subscribe to my youtube channel tensor bundle and if you have any question you can post it in the comment section thank you very much